Hi, welcome to Primary Insights for Come Follow Me. I'm Aliyah Goff with Rising Moon Adventures. This lesson is They Were Steadfast and, and Immovable. And this is part two. God will answer my prayers. In the last section, we talked a little bit about serving others and sharing the things that we have. In this section, we are going to talk about the Amlicites and um, how when we pray to our Heavenly Father, He can strengthen us. Let me move back and tell you that story. Alma, the younger, was the chief judge for the Nephites. And they were all the people that were living in the land of Zarahemla. There had been peace after the Church of Jesus Christ was established in the land. And after a while, there were some people who came who became proud and began to argue and fight with anyone who disagreed with him. They began to be a great trial for the church. Their hearts were hardened and eventually their names were no longer on the records of the church. Soon these people moved away from Zarahemla. The people who were faithful to the church suffered a lot because of these people. They loved God and stood strong in their faith. They took care of each other. They were humble and did not wear expensive clothing or jewelry. So even though the unbelievers were mean to them, they still had peace in their hearts. The people who left the church became very wicked. They were lazy. They gossiped. They wore very expensive clothes, they lied, they stole things, and they even murdered. A man named Amlici became their leader. He was very wise in the ways of the world, and he told the people exactly what they wanted to hear, so they followed him. The people made him their king. However, they wanted more. They wanted Amlicide to be the king over all the people of Zarahemla. This made the righteous people very nervous. They did not want a king, especially not a wicked one. The judges in the land voted against allowing Amlicide to become queen become king. This made the righteous people, or the Nephites, very happy, but it made Amlicite's followers, who called themselves Amlicites, very angry. They decided they wanted to go to war with the Nephites. The Nephites knew that the Amlicites were what they were planning, and they prepared themselves. When the Amlicites came to attack them, the Nephites fought hard and chased them away from from their homes. See, Alma gave them all. They all had weapons, bows and arrows. They had swords. They had clubs. They had lots of things to protect themselves. And they fought hard and chased them away from their homes. Some Nephites were killed in this war, but many more Amlicites were killed. As the Nephites pushed the Amlicites farther and farther away from Zarahemla, they found that the Amlicites had joined themselves with the Lamanites. They even marked themselves with red on their foreheads. So they would look more like the Lamanites. This mark helped the Nephites to recognize them. After joining their two groups together, their army was very large. When they saw this, they turned around and headed back to Zarahemla. So these guys headed back towards their home. While doing this, the Lamanites and Amlicites caught up to them 
and attacked them. The Nephites prayed to God and he strengthened them. And even though their army was much smaller, they were able to beat the other army. Alma and Amosai began to fight with each other with swords. Alma prayed to God and asked him to strengthen him so he could help his people. God heard him and answered his prayer. Alma was strengthened and he was able to save himself by killing the wicked Amosai. Many soldiers in the Lamanite and Amosite army were killed, and the ones who were not killed were scared and began to run away. Even though they didn't have as many warriors as the Lamanites, the Lord strengthened the Nephites and they won the war. They would not have a wicked king. They were willing to fight for their freedom, and with God's help, they had won. Heavenly Father wants us to be humble and serve each other. He also wants us to stand up for what is right. We will be blessed for our righteousness. He will strengthen us when we pray to Him. And even when we, are, we feel we are outnumbered, with God on our side, we can win the battles in our lives. What did the army, the Nephite army, do when they were scared? I'm going to read you a verse in Alma 2, verse 23. It says, And it came to pass that on the morrow they returned into the camp of the Nephites in great haste, being greatly astonished and struck with much fear. They were outnumbered. There were so many more of their enemies than there were in their armies. And they were scared. Would you be scared? I would be scared. That's really scary when there's so many more and you know you're fighting. In verse 28, it continues, Nevertheless, the Nephites, being strengthened by the hand of the Lord, having prayed mightily to him, that he would deliver them out of the hands of their enemies. Therefore, the Lord did hear their cries, and he did strengthen them. And the Lamanites and Amosites did fall before them. I really love that phrase. They prayed mightily to him. Have there been times in your life when you've been scared and felt like you needed extra strength? What happens when we pray to our Heavenly Father when we are in those times? He does strengthen us. He gives us courage, doesn't He? I know when we sold our house about two years ago, it was kind of scary for me. It was scary to move to a new place. And I didn't know how the people would be, or I didn't know if I would find new friends. And we were kind of in a little bit of a limbo for a while, meaning like we didn't, I mean, we had a house, but it didn't quite feel like home. And I remember praying to Heavenly Father and just asking Him, first of all, did we do the right thing? And I had felt good about selling the house. I knew that it was the right thing, but sometimes we just need a little reassurance that what we did was right and what we were on the path that we're on is right. And I remember getting that comfort. It actually came through a verse of scripture, a story that reminded me that Nephi and his family had to leave their home to get to a better promised land. And I am, and so as I prayed for that, for that, comfort, that confirmation that we had done the right thing, I also received strength. Strength to keep moving and keep doing the things that we were doing that eventually I would find my home again. And and I have. And I love where we live. And I am grateful that Heavenly Father answered that prayer when I was scared. And there have been other times when I have felt scared. I remember one of the first prayers that I can remember being answered was when I was when I was little, maybe six or seven. And at church we had been talking about something about eternity, about living forever. And I don't know why, but that scared me. It made me feel afraid and uncertain because in my mind, 
eternity didn't make sense. And I remember praying about it, and I remembered the comfort that came from Heavenly Father that reminded me that living forever was a much better option than everything just ending. And I remember how strong that confirmation came. So I know when we pray to Heavenly Father, I know when we're scared, I know when things make us nervous, that we can take those things to our Heavenly Father and He will give us answers to the things that we're concerned about. And if He, if we, if he isn't ready to give us answers, that He will give us peace and that He can give us strength to keep going. Um, I'm going to post the song, A Child's Prayer, and then um, I would love for you to talk to your family about a time when you prayed for help and talk about sometimes that they prayed for help and some of the things that they learned about our Heavenly Father during those times. And I will see you back here for part three.